Um, we've been talking uh, about uh, Ben Hill, uh, <laughs> who is blogging about his experience uh, across minor league baseball. And there's ball three. Well, he's been looking for a designated eater, and uh, he, he found him in us. Um, and we have uh, bacon blue fries here. All right. It's not bad. Uh, well, we, have you had some? Ground ball, first base, and not going to be fielded cleanly. That will be an error on the first baseman. So I, think if he had some, I think if he had one of these meals, he would not have made that error. So we have the bacon blue fries, and then you're working right now on what's called a walking taco. So taco you're, you're now, Ben, right now you're looking for us to basically, vic you're vicariously living through us, and you want our assessment or what do you what do yes, you want from I want us? your unvarnished uh, unedited unfiltered okay. opinions um, every ballpark I visit I try to recruit a designated eater didn't have one tonight and somehow okay. you guys got thrown in the mix <laughs> so as a designated you chose eater, the right guys <laughs> yeah your jobs are to try these things I'll take some pictures and uh, you give your opinions and uh, away we go yeah, well reluctantly we will answer the call uh, Zach Short at the plate. There's a pickoff throw over to first as Wait we second. resume our second. eating duties. When it comes to food, there's n you, you're never reluctant. No, I'm I've not. I've never seen a guy be able to eat as much as you and call a game at the same time. Now, now, here's the thing you need to know about the fried peanut butter and jelly sandwich. I've been raving about this for the last two years now. Uh, I think, no pun intended, I think it is the greatest thing since sliced bread. You can use that. <laughs> All right. uh, I'm writing it down right now. <laughs> you're on the record. But I... I feel like I'm I'm a little bit biased, and I just had one of those, so I, I think I should defer on the fried PB and J to Bob. Okay, all right. Okay. Now I'm you want to make sure, and I, I scolded Mike uh, Boyle earlier that you have to wait on this, and I, I kid you not, you have to wait for the optimal temperature. Okay, so you can't eat it right away, right after it's been fried. That gooey warmness, if you will, will be sealed. So you need to let it. Um, you need to let it breathe a little bit, okay? So I would take that first bite. It's a little bite. warm right now. Yeah, let it breathe a little bit is what I'm saying, and wait. Wait a f almost a full, like, half inning on that is, is my. The deal is, here at Avista Stadium, they, they just try to take everything to another level. Mm -hmm. It's not just about baseball. It's about family. It's about the entertainment. It's about what goes on in the concourse. They just try to be so innovative and second to none. The food, I don't know if I would ever... I would get stuck watch being, I, I don't know how you could watch a baseball game. Oh. You just get stuck on the concourse going place to place with this, right? I don't eat. Okay. I'm a little okay. disappointed. What? You told me to wait, and now you're eating? Different story. All right, so now you're on the bacon blue fries over there. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's good. There is I a baseball game going on. I taste the blue. Okay, really good. I taste the bacon. All right. Okay. So what this is, it's, it's really amazing, <laughs> is it's a combination of French fries. It's a combination of one of my favorite things, which is like a blue cheese hamburger and a baked potato. Okay? So we have all these things going together all in one. All right. I think this is about a 2016, if I'm right. <laughs> this is good. This is really good. The thing you need to know about the bacon in this is not bacon bits. This is bacon that they have crumbled bacon. up. It's real bacon, folks, so they get that. And then it's not just blue cheese. It's the blue cheese crumbles, All which right. is huge for any blue cheese connoisseur out there. I, I, Are you a blue cheese connoisseur? I love – I mean, it, you either love or hate with blue cheese, aren't you? And I love blue cheese. So this is in my wheelhouse. I feel like I've just uh – it's like some joke or a scam or something. Like food's been put in front of me, and Sam's told me, "No, wait for the temp wait for the temperature. Just hang out a little bit. Don't eat it just yet while you're over there eating. Just I'm enjoy." Sorry, what were you saying? I think that's reached optimal. Uh, Has it? Yeah. Sure, go I'm going to declare that. All right. It now I told you too. You need to break the seal on that, so you need to let it breathe. You so need I actually to need to open it up no, a little no, no, bit. No, 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 not not in the middle. Just take a bite from the corner. Okay. Amateur Ready. hour here. Pe peanut butter and jelly. Yeah, take a bite. Now watch, first first bite is always the hottest. Okay. Now let it let it air a little bit. Let it breathe. Oh. <laughs> is that your first time? Yeah. You sound like you just had a religious experience. That is so good. It it, it will change your life. The fried PB and J is is I think it's gotta be the signature dish here. And it's so Without underrated. It and it's it's very here's uh, throw down to first. That, that is. Closed. Oh, by the way, throw down to first base. But this is probably, I think, one of the most underrated items. And I, I, th agree. I believe, what, three or four dollars for this? 
So, I, I mean, mean, it's probably best bang for your buck. I'm excited about the taco thing in a bag, though, but how do you, this is unbelievable. We may not be calling a game here for a bit, as now all of a sudden Spokane into a little bit of a jam here in the seventh inning. Speaking of jam. <laughs> that's, that's why you're a professional. Oh. All right. Okay, so, I mean, 10 out of 10, what are you scoring this? Do you have a rating system? No, just, you know, I, I let the words speak for themselves because that's okay. what words are here to do. Peanut butter and jelly, deep fat fried, and just goodness. Mm -hmm. So that that I would recommend for your dessert. There is a Spokane right hander warming up in the bullpen. So good. Short has been hit by a pitch. Peguero has reached on an air. There's two runners on, nobody out. As we continue our so-called conversation with Ben Hill, which pretty much is made up of us eating and making weird noises as if we're watching a fireworks show ben, after the ball game. You can get it, though, a little bit. I mean, you look at this, I mean, this unbelievable ballpark, great crowd, great baseball game. I mean, the food matches. It, it's, it, I don't think it's an accident. Bring a napkin for these, okay? I'm telling you right now, bring a napkin. This, this is going to get messy. You're going to have blue cheese all over your scorecard yeah, in game games. And that way you'll always remember when you look back on this game. The blue cheese stains will tell the story. <laughs> I'll never wash this shirt again. Chris Peters with an 0-1 count, even at one ball and one strike. So um, let's let's move on then to our last item, which is the walking taco. Uh, I'm going to just put look at that. Okay, this is a Dori a bag of Dorito chips um, that they looks like they put basically anything that you find like a salsa dip. Um, or in a taco, the, yeah, we've got corn, we've got onions, chopped onions, we've got cheese, we've got, looks like uh, I'm done cilantro, cilantro, sour cream, and lettuce. I'm digging my way down here trying to find out. I, I, I take like this treasure. very it's seriously. It's like a treasure hunt. Yeah. yeah, it's like you just keep on digging deeper and deeper. It's, you don't know what you're going to find. So I apologize for you having to listen to this while I scarf this down. Here's the deal. Come to the ballpark, try this for yourself. This is insane. This is so good. Mm. It's the brilliant people who are like, hey, we don't need to waste. Who, who needs who needs a, a bowl or a plate? We just use the bag it came. Just rip in. open the bag and throw in the taco ingredients and you're good to go. Is th is this like your next I mean camping? How easy is this? Right? Uh-huh. <laughs> uh -huh. uh -huh. <laughs> Mean, meanwhile, one. our umpire continues tonight to have an interesting zone. So what percentage, Ben, would you say of baseball revolves around food? There's a payoff pitch, strike three, a spokesman review strikeout. Well, in minor league baseball, uh, I think a tremendous amount because minor league baseball, even more than the majors, is about the experience and not so much the game itself, with all due respect to the game, which we all love. But... Um, you know, it, it's about appealing to as many people as possible, so you try to have as many things as possible, even in a small operation or a comparatively small operation. You try, you try to think of what you can do. I mean, here they took a, a uh, Smucker's Uncrustable, dipped it in funnel cake <laughs> batter, and uh, deep fried it, and there you go. Yeah. And you're having uh, you know, a, an experience you remember for the rest of your life. It, it, the, it, of all these things that we're eating here tonight, they're, they're all fantastic, and, and I say that. I would actually be critical if I owe it to you as a journalist, yes. to tell and you if, if this if this walking taco is not up to par, I would let you know. I would let the world know. I'd shout it from a mountaintop. But the fried PB and J, I believe, is the signature dish here at Avista Stadium. One hopper to second could be two. They get the force at second on to first for two. They get the double play. And that is how the inning will end. Ben, we appreciate all of the uh, food. <laughs> we hope we cannot wait to read this on MILB.com. Yes, who, uh, who knows what I'm going to do with this one. This is a <laughs> whole new uh, new territory for me as well, guys. That's been caught on tape as well. Ben, we appreciate it. No, thanks for doing it. You guys are uh, pinch uh, breaking new ground. Pinch yeah, we're the Kirk Gibsons of pinch eating, apparently. Uh, we're back with more <laughs> Indians baseball after this.